everyone welcome back to my another insights video so today i'm in the city of raibu and uh, i just arrived a while ago it's 8:15 in the evening but it doesn't look like so so i'm here to make a video on masters in embedded system course at university of raibu so uh, but that is not what we are going to do right away uh, because i have to i just arrived i'm a little bit tired as well and uh, i'm going to roam around the city for a while and then tomorrow i'm going to meet a friend who is going to give you uh, information on the course so in this video what you are going to get is uh, everything uh, all the insights related to this program you will get to know about the course structure the subjects that you can choose the area the areas of specialization that you can get, uh, you can select uh, from the options and uh, what are the full time part time job prospects that also you will get to know and apart from that the are other topics like the expenses how much accommodation does it cost here the standard of living the how much does it cost for a month as an international student here so all this information that you are going to get in this video so stick around till the end of this video and you will get to know about the reviews about this program about the university and now let me just roam around the city for a while and i'll see you tomorrow Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm with Rashmi today, uh, who is studying Masters in Embedded Systems course at University of Freiburg. And today we are going to ask a few questions. Before we do that, have you subscribed to my channel yet? If not, do it right away. Now, Rashmi, would you like to introduce yourself to my audience? Uh, hi everyone. I am basically from Kolhapur, Maharashtra. I completed my bachelor's in electronics engineering from VJTI Mumbai. Uh -huh. Then I worked for two years in automotive domain. Yeah. and i joined this course in university of prabhu in winter 21 and i'm also working part time in fraunhofer institute as a research assistant cool so let's go ahead with the following video what can you tell us about your course structure how is it yeah so the uh, course duration is 2 years and uh, the total number of credits are 120 mm -hmm. out of 30 are for master's thesis and 90 credits are divided into uh, five subsection uh, okay. of each 18 okay uh, out of them uh, two are related to computer science uh -huh. and two are related to microsystems okay uh, so the first section is um, essential lectures in computer science mm -hmm. so you have to select at least three uh, courses mm -hmm. from the various uh, choices like okay. uh, machine learning image processing uh -huh. computer graphics okay. uh, etc uh -huh. and uh, the second section is advanced uh, lectures in computer science mm -hmm. so uh, there will be advanced courses in the field of ai ml okay. like deep learning reinforcement learning okay. uh, computer vision uh -huh. etc mm -hmm. and alternatively you can do uh, 18 credits worth project in the field okay. of computer science okay. so that you don't have to take three uh, courses okay i okay, um, got it yeah. yeah so the third uh, section is uh, advanced courses in microsystems engineering mm -hmm. so you have to take three uh, at least three courses from that section and there okay. are eight to nine options okay uh, for example microelectronics mm -hmm. sensors mm -hmm. etc okay and the fourth section is um, concentration areas in mm -hmm. advanced microsystems okay so there uh, you have options like biomedical uh -huh. circuits and systems material okay. and fabrication okay. photonics etc okay. so from that uh, concentration areas again uh -huh. there will be 20 to 25 options for uh -huh. each concentration area okay so then for example i am in uh, circuits and systems uh -huh. so i have chosen courses from uh, that concentration area okay And the uh -huh. last section is customized course selection. Uh -huh. So there you can select uh, 18 credits uh -huh. from any of the four uh, cons, uh, above areas, uh -huh. or you can take German course uh -huh. for six credits, okay. or you can uh, choose another subject from different uh, department. Okay, okay, got it. So out of this, uh, the subject, the course is of 120 credits. 90 credits are for the subjects. I mean, yes. Uh, and then 30 credits is of 
master thesis. Yes, but yeah. also you can uh, choose different labs uh, mm -hmm. that give you credits. Like okay. for example, there is a lab for three credits, microcontroller techniques. So you, if okay. you are interested in uh, embedded software, you can choose your labs also accordingly. Okay, okay. So from all these uh, areas that you told us, uh, uh, these, these areas are divided. So what kind of specializations that are offered now? What kind of what uh, um, what specialization a person can choose from this? So there are total six specialization one can take mm -hmm. um, AI, okay, cyber physical systems, mm -hmm. um, circuits and systems, okay, material and fabrication mm -hmm. and biomedical photonics. Okay. So out of the specialization areas that you just told us, uh, let's say what can you tell us a brief about what does it actually contains in a, in a particular specialization area? Let's say uh, circuit and systems. Uh, what do you actually, what kind of subjects that you study in that? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, my specialization is also circuits and systems. Uh -huh. uh, there are various choices like RF related courses, okay. uh, analog CMOS design and mm -hmm. relevant courses. Okay. Also uh, courses related to systems control and optimization. Okay. Uh, for example, I study uh, numerical optimal control, okay. uh, numerical optimization. Yeah. There are uh, projects related to that okay. and also um, Advanced microcontroller laboratory, which okay. is offered for six credits. Okay. So, yeah, there are various uh, choices. Uh, these details may seem confusing. So instead of uh, after this, you can also go through the module handbook that you can find on the university website. But for uh, to e make it easy for you, I also have included uh, the link uh, in my video description. You can check it out after this video. So how is life in Freiburg? Do you like it here? Yeah, life in Freiburg is pretty amazing. There are a lot of places to chill. Mm -hmm. Like right now we are sitting by the side of River the mm -hmm. And also Freiburg is located in Schwarzwald, Black Forest. So if you love hiking okay. or cycling, this is the best place for you. Can you briefly tell us about the accommodation options? And all the... Yeah. So the accommodation ranges from 250 to 450. Uh, if you live in private housing, the rent can go up to 450. And uh, there are five universities in Freiburg, so okay. there a, lo a lot of students come every semester yeah. and it is very difficult to pr uh, find accommodation, so it's better to start early. Uh, okay, yeah, that means as soon as you get an admit, um, you, should, you should start looking for the accommodation here, alright? And what about the living expenses now? Considering the accommodation, for a month, how much does it cost? Um, considering the average uh, rent at 350, mm -hmm. um, the monthly expenses can be around 600 to 650, including the uh, rent, groceries, and uh, health insurance. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I think it's pretty pretty decent. Uh, considering the other cities and the other universities, it's round about almost the same. So I, I would say it's it's average uh, total expenses here. And uh, what about the part-time jobs availability? Uh, so there are five Fraunhofer institutes in Freiburg. Uh, the biggest one is Fraunhofer Institute for Solar uh, Research. Uh, most of the people I know work there. Apart from that, there are institutes like Han Shikard. Yeah. Students also work in the university or mm -hmm. there are so many startups available. Mm -hmm. and students can also do uh, non-technical jobs like in the restaurants or in delivery services like Liferando yeah. or yeah. Link, etc. Yeah. It's, it's true actually, but although these institutes are here, but not everyone would be able to get a part-time job in these institutes or in the university as a research assistant and also people might have to do part-time job outside uh, in the city or in a non-technical job as well, like delivery service or in the restaurants. So, um, I guess personally what I think here is if you are doing a non-technical job as a part-time job, then uh, it makes sense that you focus more on the technical subjects and then uh, do a part-time job for uh, for hours that you can manage the whole month's living expenses that much only not not more than that that's i would suggest personally but again it's, it depends on the person to person now tell me one thing here uh, your university also has tuition fees just like us uh, and it's quite more so uh, do students be able to pay the tuition fees doing a part-time job most of the students start working in the second semester mm -hmm. uh, so it might be possible uh, to start paying the fee, uh, fees from third semester okay, but again. it depends again on everyone's personal expenses yeah yeah okay anything you would like to tell my audience about, about your feedback on the university on the program what can you tell yeah uh, so the best thing about this course is 
flexibility and freedom while selecting the modules there is no such specific uh, mandatory module in this course mm -hmm. uh, except the prerequisite courses okay. but yeah you have all the freedom to select your own courses according to your interests Okay. Technically, uh, the duration for the course is two years, but it is very difficult to complete it within the given time frame. So it is uh, absolutely normal to take 2.5 to 3 years to complete the course. In the end, what would you like to tell people who are going to join this course, what they should come prepared before joining this course? So personally, I did not prepare much after getting the admit, uh, but generally uh, basic programming knowledge like C, C++, Python, MATLAB, um, yeah. that is enough. I would say enjoy your time in India, learn German as much as possible, learn cooking that will save you a lot of time in Germany and you'll yes. get a lot of time to study as well. That, that's actually <laughs> a useful advice I would say. Alright, so that was all about this Masters in Embedded Systems course at University of Prabhu. I hope that I was able to cover all the questions that you might have. Thank you Rashmi for your time and all the inputs that you shared today. I, I'm sure that uh, those are definitely valuable to to the people who are who are going to watch or who are going to come to this course all right so if you still have more questions you can let me know in the comments i will try to i'll definitely try to answer answer your queries and uh, you can also visit the university website i'll put the li uh, link in the video description uh, you can check i'm sure that you will uh, get all the information that you need on the university website as well so now uh, in the end rashmi would you like to tell these guys that what they have to do like share and subscribe definitely it gives me enough motivation to create more content for you guys apart from that you can also connect with me on instagram or on linkedin i'll put those link in the in my video description so that is what that is all for today and i'll see you guys once again bye bye bye